I may have a slight obsession with this. Here's how to build your own butterfly enclosure that you can use to safely raise monarch caterpillars and release them as butterflies. I started with this old side table I got on Facebook Marketplace for $5. That way I didn't need to build one. This is gonna be the base for my butterfly cage. I spray painted it to help it withstand the elements outside and then I tiled the top with some leftover tile I had and grouted it. I used silicone caulk to seal around the edges. The reason for tile here is that I want a surface that I can easily clean and use bleach solution on to disinfect. The old tabletop was falling apart and was laminate and it never would have withstood that water. Now it's time to build the actual caterpillar cage that's going to go on top of the table. I started with two panels, a back and a front. The front panel is slightly taller than the back panel so that it gives a pitch to the roof once it's installed. I should mention these are all built out of two by two exterior grade lumber. I then used two more two by twos to attach the front and the back together and that forms the base. And then I did the same for the top. Of course, when you're assembling any pieces of wood, you wanna use wood glue, you wanna pre-drill your pilot hole and then you wanna drill in with an exterior grade screw. Now this structure sits right on top of the table. You can see I chose to put a piece of plexiglass in between the two sides. I used just some trim wood to create a track that it slid in and then it basically can fall straight out of the bottom. I did this because I wanted two sides for different sizes of caterpillars that we find. You don't want to keep your small cats or your eggs with your fifth and fourth instar because they'll eat them. Next up, we're gonna attach fiberglass window screen around the sides of the cage and the top. We're not gonna do the front because we're gonna make a door for that later. Uh, this screen helps keep the caterpillars in, but more importantly, it helps keep predators like birds, tachnid flies, other insects out. It's important, obviously, to have screen on all sides for good airflow for the caterpillars to keep them healthy. Next up is to add a roof if you'd like. This is optional because if you keep your caterpillar enclosure underneath a patio umbrella or an awning or some other structure, you may not even need this. Ours is only slightly covered by the eaves of our house, so I did want to add a roof. I used leftover one by twos from another project and glued and nailed them into the top. You can see that because the front is slightly taller than the back, there's a slight natural pitch which helps water to run off. Once those are attached, I used leftover PVC roofing to attach to the one by two boards and then right into the two by twos as well. The screws I used were definitely longer than one by twos, so I made sure that they were also hitting the two by twos when they were screwed in. I built an easy door using more of those leftover one by two pieces and I attached the corners together using L brackets, so it was super simple. I added one more piece of wood down the center with T brackets to keep it uh, structurally stable, along with 45 degree corner bracing. I added screen to the door and also a little latch clasp to keep it closed. We've used this DIY butterfly cage for the last three years and it's held up really well. I'm really glad I put in the two sides. It's made it super easy to have different size caterpillars. Follow the link in the description for everything you may need to know about safely raising monarch caterpillars. Plus, I'd love for you to follow along for all things DIY in your home and your garden. Thanks so much for watching.